What's good, my nigga? We back with some more Tealess videos. I'm ranking animals based on how awesome they look. I don't know if anybody's ever done this, and I really don't care because they don't do it like me. Side note, I'm not ranking based off how cute they are. No. I'm talking about if they fit actually hard, like character design-wise, you know what I'm saying? Adorable or not, if they not giving main character vibes, get the fuck off my screen expeditiously. First off, we starting with wolves. Now, wolves have always been the flyest niggas to me. You can't go wrong with the wolves as your favorite animal. Everything about them is just cool. Got snapped when they was making, y'all. They be in the cut, catching niggas lacking. Six deep. Tack a nigga off, bro. Them sentences might not make sense to some of y'all, so I'm gonna put subtitles right here. I could say so much more about wolves. Why y'all think every furry a damn wolf? Niggas is clean, bro. Like, you ever seen a fucking cockroach furry? Don't answer that question. S. Easiest ass ever. Tigers. See, I feel almost the exact same way with tigers. They're just as fly if not fly. And they Aki, bro. Look. Tigers are actually voted as the most beloved wild animal in the entire world. According to some fucking study somewhere. I don't know. But the fact that you believe that for a second just shows how clouded tigers really is. With good reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't even mentioned their iconic ass strike pattern. Y'all already know what I'm ranking them, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ass all day, baby. Ass, baby. Ass. Giraffes. Now, you could just call me being salty because I'm not that tall, but I'm gonna just say it right here. Giraffes literally embody the exact idea of a nigga that is tall for no reason whatsoever. The giraffe's average height is 16 feet, but they can't dunk, don't got no handles, can't shoot, can't lay up, can't jump, can't throw a football, can't catch a football, but can't they post can beat up. Your ass, though. Yo, who said that? Who the fuck said that? I'm not playing neck long for no reason. The only reason I can think of is that they be boxing with their necks. So I guess they be putting it to use. <laughs> Either way, see, the patterns are cool. I'll give them that. See, Sphinx cats. Look, man. Look, man. It ain't no sugar coating with two. You look like a ball sack. You look like a ball sack. I don't know what it is, but all the bad bitches want Sphinx cats. Yo, I seriously don't get it. The only nigga really looking out for y'all is Beerus. Aside from him, who do y'all have? And do not talk to me about ozone, Swiss cheese, ear heaven ass, Professor Dinky Crackhead little brother looking hey, ass. Let go. Y'all make me sick. Step up your game. I'm not playing. Damn. Poison frogs. A lot of y'all niggas sleep on four. Uh, um, poison frogs, nigga, poison. A lot of y'all niggas sleep on poison frogs. These niggas so fly, can't nobody even touch them, bro. Figuratively and literally, like, you can't touch them. You just gonna fly backwards and place like a fucking oblivion NPC. I've been saying this, poison frogs is the ASAP Rocky of the animal kingdom, bro. If he ever pass away, God bless his soul, let it be of old age. He coming back as a frog, and I put that what? on everything. That might sound whack as fucking on. Uh, what are you talking about, man? man oh, hell yeah, no. Nah, you know, you, 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 you. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Shout out to Rock. Turtles. Now, I fuck with turtles. I think they're really cool, right? My favorite species is between Raphael and Leonardo, but I fuck with them all. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're all around some, t some t ass dudes, right? And I want to put them higher on the list, but these motherfuckers are literally racist. It's cr It's crazy. You show them anything that is black in color, they get scared and attack it because they think it's some kind of predator. Like, bro, there's no way out of this one. You're done. When I found out about Jonathan the Turtle and how he's nearing 200 years old on this earth, it dawned upon me. And for the life of me, I couldn't find an answer to this question. If if he's been alive for 200 years, nigga, what the fuck did he do to stop slavery? Did this nigga really just sit back and let all of that shit happen? Now I know why. Now you know why. I mean, bro, just look racist, to be honest. 200 years on this earth, not one job. Crazy stats. He looked like he really seen some shit, though. This is why I would never want to be immortal. He looked like he'd be one of Skip's friends or some shit. Anyway, uh, see? I would rank y'all way higher if y'all wasn't racist. I genuinely fuck with y'all. Shame. Shout out my teenage being nigga turtle though, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't seen the movie yet. Should I make a video when I see it? Let me know. Anyway, walruses. Nigga. Now I think walruses are adorable, right? They are adorable. But these niggas give out the most where my hug at vibes ever. Look at them, bro. I won't say they're ugly because like I said, they're cute as fuck. But y'all just look like y'all need a glow up now, my nigga. Like, stop asking what the fuck your hug at, my nigga. Please grow a backbone. You know what I'm saying? Like, get more confident in yourself, bro. Like, nah, bro. Don't do that, bro. C. But you could be, you could be an S. 
I see potential in you, my guy. Focus on yourself, for real. Fuck them hugs. Fuck them kids. What? 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 Focus. Putting aside the fact that they have such a hard ass nickname, they look so cool, man. It's just black and white, but it's such a sleek look. You cannot go wrong with black and white, bro. Not to mention these niggas is actual demons. Like if you don't know the disastrous war crimes they be committing on everybody who has the ultimate displeasure of being found anywhere near the vicinity of a border. Watch this video. But watch this one first. I don't know if it makes me like them more or if it makes me uh, not like them, I guess. But war criminal aside, they'll fit clean. Genuinely one of my favorite character designs on Earth 4. It's so clean. S. S. B. S. B. Crows. I love these niggas. Seriously. From the fact that, like, that a group of crows is called murder. Murder. And they are one of the most intelligent animals in the entire animal kingdom, being able to make conscious decisions that remember human faces and voices and the general like symbolism that they carry around with them. Deferring from culture to culture. This should sound like a sponsored message. Crows are interesting as fuck, bro. They be flying with the pack on some synchronized. And the big key is all black. These niggas are literally the black air force, bro. Put respect on crows. S, remember? Zebros. What? what? Bro, I fucking love zebra print. Not even as the clothing thing is just like, really, it's just fascinating what patterns nature be pulling out of the fucking asshole sometimes. Effortless drip. Nature bless you like this? Every National Geographic fit pick is a goddamn fashion statement, no matter how awkward it is, bro. S. Uh -huh, shit. But it's fucked up what Lil Debbie be doing to y'all. She turning on the fucking cakes and shit. I can't respect that, you know what I'm saying? That's some fucked up shit. But for the record, y'all niggas, boss! Owls. Owls are truly one to one here, I think. There ain't no bird doing it like them. They really got this, like, majestic sort of vibe about them. The great horned and snowy owl got that shit on. Y'all thought I was funny? Yeah, nah, nigga. They, they got that shit on. Snowy owls is crazy. The snowy owls just... It looks so crisp. It looks so crisp. It's crazy because you can have that, but at the same time, these niggas be walking around looking like a motherfucking bloodborne mini boss. This nigga look like Cleric Beast's second cousin. And you, you look pretty cool. You just got a big ass forehead. Hey, for my owls. Shout out my owls. Snowy owls. I fucking love y'all. Y'all look so cool. Komodo Dragon. These niggas got about the hardest name of all time, but they be stepping out the womb looking like somebody grandfather. Oh, wrinkly ass. You ain't no dragon, by the way. I don't know who you think you're fooling, but you got it. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all, but it's like nothing really crazy about y'all. Looks wise. You know what I'm saying? You definitely one burly ass nigga, but that's about it. See, I love y'all names though. Shoe Bill Stork. All right, man. First of all, I don't know what the hell they got to do with shoes. They don't even got no shoes. Big so that's strike one. Two, these niggas definitely don't pay no goddamn bill. That's strike three. And three, I'm not gonna lie, Sue Bill Storks about the ugly. Unbelievably dazzling creature I've ever had the display. The pleasure of laying my eyes on. Hey. Okay, bro, here, nigga. Damn, ass, damn. Peacock. They're a majestic animal. The only thing is, both of your names kind of stink. Peacock or Peafowl. Y'all niggas zero for two. But outside of that, like, y'all design is almost fantasy. Like, something I would picture when a character in a fantasy book, like fucking Narnia or some shit, would try to describe. Or some sort of mythical animal that is entrenched in cultural folk, 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 folklore, nigga. Folklore. As peacocks are fucking awesome. I like to think that there is a God for many reasons, right? But one of them being that when I die and eventually go up to heaven, I can look at this divine being in the eye and ask him what the fuck they was cooking with blind fishes. This shit looked like how a Minecraft villager sound. Honestly, I look at some creatures like this and think, what, 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 in, what in the hell will we encounter in another planet? You look like you got family chilling up in Jupiter or some shit, bro. Blue dragon fish. 
I look at y'all the same way as blobfishes. Y'all definitely got family chilling up at Neptune or some shit. You be in a family reunion and your favorite cousin pull up from Uranus and dab you up and y'all both collectively start shit in the gathering. Other than that, y'all actually look cool as fuck, I'll give you that. Y'all look fucking cool. But y'all really look like y'all pulled up in a UFO and some aliens rolled down the window because the AC was fucked up. Only for the plastic bag y'all was being kept in to fly out the fucking window and land in the Pacific Ocean and start washing ashore in 1777. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Nigga, this nigga. Tell me I'm wrong. But either way, hey, y'all look cool as fuck. Hey, horses. All right. This is probably an unpopular opinion. But I'm not too crazy on horses. Like, they're cool, I guess. The Shire and Lusitano is awesome. This picture is hard, right? I'm not too crazy about them, but they definitely be putting it on in every single... They be putting their shit on in every single picture. So I gotta respect that, you know what I'm saying? I'ma leave them at eight. All right, couples. I'ma... I'm gonna be real. I don't know how the fuck niggas be gobbling you up and shit. It's high-key despicable what they be doing to y'all. They be doing y'all like... Put on YouTube and call that shit a mukbang public execution on your ugly ass i truly think y'all don't deserve it you probably don't even taste that good i'm gonna keep it a butt with your slimy ass gun to the back of my head a nigga told me to eat this ugly ass specimen well i'm gonna eat it because you know what i'm saying you gotta do what you gotta do but i have to contemplate it a little maybe the cockroaches the oh. eagles honestly Aside from the fact that these niggas represent the most Olympic dick riding you'll ever witness in your motherfucking life, this nigga clean! He got that shit on, bro, and he know it too. Look at his face. Every single one of his fit pigs be some gas, boy. Niggas will die trying to get a fit pig this good. S! Monkfish. What the fuck it? What, what the fuck is this, dog? What the fuck is this, bloodborne creature? Y'all be eating this? Y'all be eating this? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Look at this nigga, bro. Nah. Wallahi, I'm famous. Wally, I'm famous. I don't care how good a temadito Montero tastes, bro. This, this shit is a fucking embalming. Get this shit out. Yo, I don't care how good a nigga cooked it. Gordon Ramsay could cook this motherfucker up himself in the kitchen. Kitchen. With every single attention to detail possible. Put the motherfucking little ass green leaf on top of it and some shit. Oh, God, I'm throwing this plate at him, bro. Get this shit out of my, get this shit out of my fucking, this nigga, though. Mm, get this nigga out Because sea creatures be having the cleanest character designs and then they got shit like this. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell you man. literally look like a cock, my nigga. I have nothing else to say about you. We got a cat that look like a ball sack and a fish that look like a cock in this bitch. <laughs> Not what we need is a creature that just look like some booty cheek. Man, what the f- D. D, both of y'all, D. Kangaroos. Where do I even start with this mythical creature? There's gotta be an inside joke between all these. Either it's an inside joke or a group hallucination. There's no way these beasts are actually real. I'm not even concerned about how they look. These weird built ass niggas. These Kevin Durant feet built ass niggas. I'm concerned on whether or not these motherfuckers exist because I already have trouble believing that Australia is a real place sometimes. Y'all niggas look like somebody tried to order a deer off a of Timu then a kangaroo jumped out the box and started boxing you. Honestly, I do have to respect the chaotic evil these niggas possess. I seen a clip where two kangaroos caught a glimpse of a sky devil landed behind him. Did a 180 when they saw he landed. Jumped the nigga for two seconds and then dipped. I don't know where they was going, but they are now going in the opposite direction. Like, what the fuck kind of ADHD ass fucking creature? And I don't know why the fuck you niggas are so fucking raped. And only want violence. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? And y'all ugly. Y'all niggas just look like a fucking deer hopped in the Hudson River. And y'all came out. There is nothing appealing about you niggas. These niggas is about the most unhinged animal I've ever heard of since Killer Whales. And Loki, I'm here for it, so I'ma leave y'all that be. Nah, I see. And I'm doing you a disservice, cause damn near every single pick of y'all, you look crazy. The polar opposite of horses. These niggas have zero good angles. Y'all are like Travis Scott trying to take pictures. Anyway, see. Clownfish. No, I ain't even gonna go into your name, bro, cause that shit is just unfortunate. I know what it's like growing up with a gimmicky name. My parents say fucking name me Clown, so I cannot fully relate. But I just know them schools was clowning your ass, my nigga. Y'all design is crispy, though. Every single photo is just effortless, dog. To be honest, I was gonna rate y'all A or S just by the orange and black and white fit. But I'm doing some research right now, and I just found out y'all come in black, too? Like, well, black and white, but black. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is out here looking quite dazzling, I must say. Ass. 
you niggas are clean ass. Shout out my clownfish. They need to get a better name for you niggas. I mean, seriously, goddamn, they really fucked up your shit with that. Like Tasmanian devil. You guys don't. You guys don't know. You guys don't know. But this should get deeper than some goddamn tears because I know some of my friends is watching this shit right now, pissed off because they know what debate I'm finna bring back up. See, I was playing Minecraft with them bros in the voice chat. You know how it is. I don't know how the fuck this debate came alongside. I just know that I started it. But eventually, I brought up the fact that I had no idea what a Tasmanian devil was. There was like, yo, um, that's the brown nigga from Looney Tunes. They did not say that. That's the character from Looney Tunes, Taz. So I search him up and I'm like, oh, the dog. Oh, yeah. And everybody got on my case for it. Like, that nigga don't look like a dog to y'all. They look like a homophobic rat in real life, but that's besides the point. They did my boy real good in Looney Tunes. The glow up is crazy. He really do look like a dog, bro. That name is hard as fuck, by the way. Y'all are so lucky that I fuck with Taz. He has a really cool character design. He look like, bro, look like Crash Bandicoot cousin. That nigga look more like a dog than any of you niggas. Because y'all is related, I'm gonna leave y'all at sea. But you... On thin ice, buddy. You're on thin ice, pal. Tell me right now in the comments if this nigga look like a dog or not. Like, like, you know, like if I'm bugging, you can go ahead and say that too. You're wrong, but you can go ahead and say it. Now, aliens have been a super trending topic as of probably like two and a half months now. And I've been wanting to make a video on him, but I'm just, you know, busy working on other ideas that I've had in mind for longer. But I did want to bring this topic up for the sole purpose of them trying to confirm what they look like. Because, um, you telling me this is an alien, but this isn't? Like, how Like how does that make sense? This cannot be the, this cannot be the hot alien vagina Low Tier God was talking about. There's probably hot alien vagina out there that as soon as you go into it, you literally just black out, go into a vortex of a different dimension, and you're just busting nuts internally. Let me put this in perspective for you. This? This is a Wabagong Sark. This is a sea creature that is native to our planet Earth and has been since the Mesozoic era, millions of years ago. This is me? Like six years ago. This is an alien, according to the Mexican government. And this is Saddam Hussein in his hiding place. So, Manege, if you had to guess which one is an alien not from this planet, an extraterrestrial creature to be studied, probed, milked, about a government for the greater good to understand exactly what kind of forces the human race would be dealing with. Who, I ask. Now, what would you pick? Nigga. All right, that's enough time. If you picked me from six years ago, one, you are not funny, two, I don't like you, and three, you have five hours to get as far away from Earth as possible. If you pick Saddam Hussein, I don't even know what to say to you. Change! If you pick this SCP looking ass motherfucker, you're wrong! It's this nigga! He look like my little cousin in DR with that big ass head. That is not an alien, my nigga. Anyway, bit off topic. Wabagong Shark D! Alright, I think I'm going to wrap this list up here. This is the list as of right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Maybe I'll continue it in another video. This was really fun to make, but it's a lot of fucking animals out there and I don't want this video to get too long. And also, by the time this drops, I will be streaming on YouTube if you want to come fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's for a little bit. But anyway, that's all, folks. Usually I would end these videos by yelling some stupid shit. But for some reason, I'm still talking. I don't know why the fuck I'm still talking. Anyway, roll the credits, nigga. Woo! One box to leave you messed up and fractured. Lock these uppercuts, they may need to capture. May the best fight to win and win again. Battle to the top until his life ends. But if his life ends and he starts to decay, may one of his street soldiers avenge him. See you talking to the game, couldn't be talking to me. I got enough to beat and more soldiers to bury. You know we just click. And it made you realize this game is twice as hard You see that with your own eyes You're on the way to choose your type of life Cause you gotta I tell you from now Which fight will be the hotter I don't think you want this one Just practice Just challenge me when you're ready With your tactics High punch your spin kicks Watch your back split I see you in the air When I make your back flip Select to make your first pick 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 Choose and pick the best one 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Select to make your first pick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Choose.
ones and pick the best ones. Five, four, three, two, one. Select and make the first pick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Choose and pick the best one. Five, four, three, two, one. Select and make the first pick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Choose and pick the best one. Five, four, three, two, one.